let's first understand what is a service. A database service is not something specific in a clustered environment or in a data guard environment. You can implement services even in a standalone single instance setup. In fact, it is recommended you make your applications connect to services rather than an instance name. Let me help you understand how and why this can help. To begin with, let's say we have a single instance database, which means I have a single instance on a node and it connects to the database. I have two applications which need to connect to this. By default, we will give in the application connect string the host name, port number and SID, which is the instance name to which we will connect. Now, let's say on one particular day, you have heavy load from one of these applications and your database is suddenly consuming a lot of resources or your database is running slow. How would you find out who is responsible for it? Well, if you made both the applications connect to the instance name, you need to do a little more work to go and see in V$ session, V$ process and see who is responsible for that. On the other hand, we could have created two services within the same database. I could have created service one and service two. In a single instance setup, you can use the built-in package DBMS service to create these services. The moment we have two services, let's say we will make application one in its connect string we will give the host name port number and service name equal to serve one. And in the application two, we will give service name equal to serve two. By doing this, both the applications will connect to the same instance, but they will connect through a different service. This would also be visible to the listener. So when a connection request comes from application one, it will tell connect me to service one. The listener will be aware in which instance this service is available. Similarly from service two, which instance it is running on. Now, when you have a problem, you have a performance dimension with services wherein you can see over a period of time, which service has consumed how much of resources. This gives you an immediate way to identify who is the culprit today to cause a problem with your application performance and database performance. Services can give you information about how much CPU they have consumed, which service is waiting for what, and a host of metrics that come with services. Number two, you can also go and tell in case a particular service to which a session is connected, if it has more than a certain amount of CPU consumed or response time for a SQL, then you can generate alerts. This is useful when you have two applications and one application you need the database to respond within let's say two milliseconds whereas the other one you're okay with up to one second response time the service metric will enable you to tell whether the response time is meeting your sla this is a very very important aspect with respect to services beyond this let's say you don't want one application to connect to the database you can just stop the service so you don't want application one to connect you can just stop serve one serve two will be running the instance is still running but when application one makes a connection request it will not be able to connect because the service is down beyond that if you want to trace all connections from application one to see what it is doing you can enable tracing at a service level and beyond that within a service you can have modules and actions in the performance playlist I will have videos about what is a module and what is an action and how we can use it to do troubleshooting. This is in a single instance environment. But services is the underlying framework with which high availability, failover, scalability is all implemented. Let's take a simple example where I have a two node REC setup. I know you don't know how they've all come up so far. We will discuss about it. But let's assume you have two instances for the same database. You can create a service which can run on both instances. Thereby, you have obviously attained the ability to run the same service on two instances, which means when an application connects, it can connect to node one or node two, which finally means an application now has two database servers with two instances, one each, and the same service running on both, so you have achieved scalability. On the other hand, I could have had 
two instances but only one instance is running the service and if that instance goes down you can ask the service to fail over to the available instance thereby failover can also be achieved using services this becomes an underlying framework with RAC and data guard we will see how services can be used in failover and high availability in later videos so that's a quick overview about what is a service